for students to start using G-Metrics, uh, first of all, you must have G-Metrics installed on your student workstation. So if it's, if it's not installed, if you don't see this icon right here, G-Metrics, uh, put in a work order to your tech, get that installed on your machines. But the students will double click on the G-Metrics icon. This screen appears. The student will log on the same way they log on to the computer. Same username, and then they use the same password. And they click sign in. Now, if you assigned an access code to them when you created their student account, that access code will be right down here for them to choose. If you didn't, they need to manually enter that code. Or you can write it up on the board, give them a sheet of paper, have the kids enroll. But here's the access code we want them to use. So I'm going to click the next arrow. It validates the code, and now the student can choose one of the applications you've assigned to them. Let's, for example, we'll take a look at Word. They can choose the mode that you tell them to be in, in this case, training. And then they would see all the different things that they can choose from here to take that test. And they choose the test, and they start. And that's all, all there is to it for a student using Geometrics.